Can the dua stop the qada? Yes, it can. This is a very valid question. Because in fact, there is a sound hadith in the same subject in which the Prophet ﷺ said, الدُّعَاءُ وَالْقَضَاءُ يَعْتَلِجَانِ الدُّعَاءُ is making dua, the prayer, the invocation. Asking from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect you against a calamity for innocence, to keep you sound for the whole day. And it was written, it was written, as uh, I'm, I'm just going to explain, but it does not necessarily mean this. Like when you write in your note by the pencil, just to, I'm planning to do this. It is not confirmed. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have decided that this person would encounter a, an accident on this day. If this person recites the dua which Allah prescribed and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, this dua is to protect you for the whole day against one, two, three, four things. So this person recited the dua. The dua will be ascending. And the qada will be descending. Fayatabijan, yani, they compete and they fight. And the Prophet said in the hadith, Fayaglibu ad dua al qada. Which means the dua will overcome the decree also by the leave of Allah. It is not because your dua is more powerful than the leave, the, the, the decree of Allah. But your dua was also decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 